Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Gemini. If Gemini is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so this is a bonus reading for Gemini. And our card tonight is the Ace of Wands. A very fiery archetype indeed. Okay, let's see what we have going on here in these tea leaves. Okay. No, I'm just going to spin it, but I think we'll come back there first. Yes, interesting. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. And... Uh, and it is free to subscribe. And if you like this reading, please like it. <laughs> that helps. That does help as well. Okay, so uh, really one of the core things that I'm seeing here is that we have this little area here. And it's on all sides, no matter how we kind of turn it. Um, there is a sense of, and let's see over here, I think was the next one, a sense of this being kind of a guiding light, a fire, okay, a flame. Um, on this side, it almost kind of looks like a flower that is also a flame. Um, and as I get closer, it kind of looks almost phallic there. Um, but if you take a look, we have a person standing here. You can see side profile. They have what looks like maybe a, like a, they're blowing air. Um, and you can see that right there. Okay. They have maybe a robe or a dress, a long dress on. And then down here, we also have another flower. Okay. Um, and this one looks like a, um, a serpent of some kind. So immediately I'm thinking we have kind of beholding this beautiful growth here. Uh, there is a sense of looking into the light. Uh, there is a sense of the seeds that have been sown, uh, coming into their prime. They have grown, they have sprouted, they have, you know, come to bud and now they are blooming in the pride, in the peak. And so, um, I look at this and I think, ah, oh, potent, passionate visions, understandings, intuitions, love, um, devotion, all of these things here. Now at the top, we have something that looks like a question mark. Okay. So I know that this feeling is here, but what do you do with it? Okay. I mean, I think this is really where the big question is. Um, I feel like there's a lot of power, uh, in your, when you come into these places where you f really have an understanding, you f understand what is happening. You see in oh, this thing, it is becoming something, you know, if this is like a romantic entanglement if this is you're collaborating with somebody making something creating um you know your dreams are starting to manifest in the physical world whatever it is i mean it could be anything and you and you look at it and you see and you think i know i know what this is and there's a sense of confidence in your knowing there's a sense of trusting your intuition. There's a security in, um, your ability, you know, and that, that feeling is, that's something that people really, um, when you have honed your ability to trust yourself, to really li not just listen to your wants, your desires, but really listen to yourself, 
follow your will. Um, even if it's something that you don't necessarily want to do, you know, it's something hard. You're going to go the, the long way. You're going to do the hard thing. You're going to, um, do something that's boring or, you know, um, tedious feeling, but you know, this is what I need to do. I have to get through this work. I have to be devoted to the path. This maybe isn't going to be the most exciting part of my journey, but I know that it will fortify me. I know that this is what I have to do to get to the next thing. And, um, and when you have learned to do that and to really do it to, and to really listen, that is something that, Nobody, nobody can take that from you, you know, um, that is yours. That is yours. And so I see, I see you holding this thing, this flame, this flower, the mystery. Okay. And we have the knowledge here. We have, um, we have the serpent also phallic, but, um, a symbol of divine knowledge, Knowledge that will transform your understanding of everything, okay? Um, and I think that you are willing to, uh, you know, m make that journey. I think that you are somebody who is a seeker. You are a witness. You are an explorer. Um, you are not one that can just kind of live in the illusion, okay? So... We also have this flower here. And now this one is uh, also kind of a fertility um, symbol. It, it, the shape of it is kind of like a reproductive, a female reproductive system. Um, so we have kind of the phallic up here, the male reproductive system. And we also have um, the, the female interior. So, um, yeah. I'm not saying that this is like, you know, in the physical, you're going to have a kid or, you know, something like this. Um, although if you are trying, you know, this might be a, um, a time that you do focus on that, you know, the things might be coming into alignment, but I think more than anything, if this is the balance, right? This is where the balance is really coming into play. You have access to, um, your abilities, your, I feel like you are probably somebody who is, um, clairvoyant in some way. Um, you have, you just have that, you see th into things. You see that thing that is right behind the thing that, that space in between. Um, you can gaze, you can gaze, maybe scry, um, I think that I almost wonder if you don't even realize it, like you just take, you know, you just assume that everybody kind of experiences life in this way that, um, like when you're really good at detecting if somebody is lying, right? If they're fibbing, um, you just, and you just know. Uh, and I think that you just assume most people also have this ability, um, but they just kind of play along with things or they don't care enough or whatever it is. And I, you know, the reality I think is that most people don't know. Most people can't see this way. They don't experience reality the way that you do. Um, and so, uh, I think that in this balance, it's a good time to really focus on working on those skills. Okay. Um, now I want to go this way. And so we do, we have the serpent next to the flame. Okay. And then we have, we have this face here. If you can see kind of the head, the shape of it, we have kind of a frown. We have two eyes. And within that, we have horses that look like they're kind of beginning to run. Um, and so I feel there is a pull within you, that kind of wild horse, the untamable thing. Um, and I feel like sometimes 
you feel very weighed down by your responsibilities. Um, I think it's, you're not incapable of doing them. Um, but I feel like it's very hard for you to do things that don't, that are not meaningful to you. Um, you're like, there's no way you could be like in like a bureaucratic system, right? I can't imagine a Gemini, um, absolutely not, you know, like doing the tedium of the paperwork and the, you know, slow roll of things. Um, I think that would just be awful. Um, and so whatever it is that's going on, and I think this is in your mundane life, um, whatever thing that is just, you're hitting a wall with it. I think you can counterbalance it with this other work. Okay. Um, if it's something that you can't get out of, of course, if this is like your day job or, you know, something you have to do paperwork or, um, you know, like, navigating health insurance in America. That's, you know, something like that. Um, it, it's hard, you know, it's hard. It's hard to stay focused. It's hard to have the motivation to do it. You know, you have to, but oh my goodness. Right. Um, so counterbalancing it with the things that really keep you passionate, the things that keep you alive and moving, right? The things that make your soul sing, your heart sing. Um, and that, you know, I really think that right now this is the, um, the spiritual downloads, the kind of spiritual journeys that you are making. Um, I, I feel there's a lot of just feeling that uncanniness, um, and I think, I think really what would be important is documenting some of the stuff that's happening, the synchronicities, the impressions you're having. And I think, you know, going on a search, even, you know, just going on Google and looking up some of the things that you're experiencing just to see what's out there. Okay. Um, now don't go too far down the rabbit hole because it can get, you know, um, I forget what that's called, like a confirmation bias or whatever. Uh, <laughs> you will find something to support whatever, you know, far out thing um, somewhere in the corners of the internet. Okay, don't go that far out unless you really have something very specific and you, you know, whatever. But if you're getting into the beginning stages of looking, look widely you know, really read, um, some of this stuff. I, you know, I am a huge fan of, um, of, uh, Dion Fortune, of, um, even like Manly P. Hall. That's not, you know, it's functional, but still really interesting. Writes about a lot of different, um, kinds of magic, occult, and it, a lot of different, um, practitioners of theosophy because theosophy is like it is a system but it's also very much like just kind of a collective of many different kinds of practitioners um all but i would go to like the archives of um theosophic writers and so many interesting um phenomena there i've learned so much um, in my years, I don't, I don't read about it as much now. And, and I admit that, but when I was younger, I was obsessed, right? Um, is also Israel Regarde, really interesting, um, practitioner, um, GRS Mead. Um, I mean, just so many, I mean, there's so many, uh, yeah. And you know, I'm always about young and, um, Maria von Franz, um, Mar Maria Louise von Franz, who was a contemporary and student also of, um, of young, a uh, psychotherapist and just amazing. Um, go check out some of her work. Um, one that I will really recommend is her active imagination. Also, she has a uh, one about dreams. That's really, um, yeah. So anyway, I could go on forever, but <laughs> all of these places are good places to look. 
okay? And if you are a reader, um, then yeah, there's just so many. Um, I'm trying to think, what is that website? There's a website and it's like, let me just look really quick because it's, they have, um, I think it's non-copywritten stuff. Um, and I, I want to make sure that this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh no, that's not it. Okay. I just want to say the right thing. I wonder if, oh yes. Okay, so it is sacred-text.com. T-E-X-T-S dot com. And that is, I don't know who runs it. I have no affiliation with them. Um, but I have relied on them for many years. Many, many, many years. Um, so shout out to them for sure. Whoever, whoever runs sacred texts. Okay. So let's see, we have a person going up a hill and there is a monkey right there. And it looks like they're pushing something down. And I look at this and I just think it is, it's that like drive to like just fool around and it gets in your way every time. And I think this is one of the big challenges of Gemini is, um, getting bored with things and not being able to stay focused on them. Um, because it's it, like at some point it's just like, I don't like this. I don't want to do this. Um, and you know what? I get it. I'm the same way. I have ADHD, so it's like I have to try so hard to make things fun for me. <laughs> so I can, like, stay on task. Uh, make it interesting so I don't, like, you know, start doing something else. Um, but, yeah, I think the big thing here is tempering self. Getting it done. Just doing the thing. Just do it. Get it done. Um, and then, you know, I think... You re reach the top of that mountain. We also have a hen who's laying an egg. It looks like it looks like they're um, brooding. Is that what they're? Is it called brooding, or is that when they're in heat? I don't know. It's not roosting. Whatever it is, when they sit on there, they've laid the egg. They're sitting on it. Um, so you're taking care of your most sacred egg. Right, the ovum, the um, yoni, the um, you know, the treasure of treasures, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, and so um, you know, working on the saying, it'll come to be. And I've seen check marks in all of my readings tonight, so that's important. Um, and I think you know, you really um, you'll get this done. And I, and I feel like I just, I, I feel like it's, it's something where you're like coming into, I feel like you're coming into understanding a part of yourself. To me, it almost reminds me of like when you, um, well, I got diagnosed with ADHD when I was 30, I was like 30, 20, yeah, 30 or 31, whatever. I was around 30, 30 or 31, one of the two. And, um, and I kind of always maybe thought so, I don't know, but it's, you know, it can be different with women and, you know, I mask a lot and that, and I didn't even know that's what it was, but you get diagnosed with something and it doesn't change anything, but you start to understand things about yourself. You're like, Oh yeah, this makes sense. And it's kind of validating. And also it's, you know, you can refine your journey of, for me, it's like therapy and, and, um, coping mechanism or coping tools, techniques, and, um, and also just a lot of self-love, you know, allowing myself to not feel so much guilt and shame and embarrassed 
by the way I think, by the way I talk about how my mind, you know, even on this channel, um, I get <laughs> comments. People are like, oh, you just talk too much. You ramble, you go in circles, whatever, whatever. You know what? My brain's different. It's just the way it is. And I'm not sorry about it anymore. Like I used to feel very embarrassed about it. I'm not anymore. This is who I am, you know, and it's just, it is what it is. And you know, if it, if that's not for you, I get it. I understand that. I'm not mad about it, you know, but it, we're just different. We're all different. We do our, you know, we all, but anyways, the point is it's like getting diagnosed with something. Okay. But this is, it's like you start to come into understanding about your abilities. All of a sudden there's a moment where you realize like, Hey, um, I'm an empath. This is why I feel so funky when I go into a place where <laughs> there are weird vibes where people are, you know, um, really low vibrating or, you know, just the atmosphere is, you know, not conducive with, with how I am feeling, right? It brings me into a hold. I'm very affected. Um, or, like I said, you're, you experience people with such clarity. You look at situations and you see what's happening beyond the like veneer of things. And you just figure, oh, everybody does. Well, no, they don't, you know, but then you start to realize like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what it is about me, but I, you know, how I'm very perceptive. I'm really good at, you know, seeing how things work. Um, where, where things are not real, where it just, you know, um, so whatever it is, whatever it is that you are coming into really noticing about yourself, what you are really starting to understand, I see this being a huge shift for you. Really important. This is like almost like a, a, a life, you know, a rite of passage, and I feel like this will be a focus. This will really change a lot of things for you. Maybe even will become kind of where you go um, with your work. You know, maybe you will get into some kind of um, practice or, um, you know, creating with this ability. Um, doing, and it doesn't have to be for money. It doesn't have to be professionally or whatever. But maybe it will be something that is important to you. For you to explore. I know somebody on um, the channel. And I won't say the name of the person. But they're lovely. They're in the comments here and there. And um, they were talking about how they can do body scans. They can see um, sickness in people. Or you know things that are happening. And um, you, so maybe something like that. You know where you put that to use in some way. Um, interesting. We as beings are f so interesting, so interesting. We have so much potential. Most of the time, you know, I think it's just that people don't necessarily, um, find their, find their thing, you know, or their things. Um, even with myself, I never knew I would be reading tea leaves. You know, I kind of had it around a little bit when I was younger, and, um, but I never thought, oh, this is what I'm going to do. I had no confidence in myself. You know, I didn't think it, I don't, I didn't know what I thought. I thought I just, you know, I don't know. I can kind of foresee a little things, you know, or I can look at these things and a narrative really comes out. I start to have visual kind of, um, scenarios and symbols and impressions and things happen, but I never, you know, but you have to try. That's the important thing. You have to try. Um, and if you fail, okay, who cares? You learn from it. Um, but it's important. It's important to just, you know, explore these things. Try them out. See what you can do. Okay, so we have a J. And then we have... A person who looks like they're kind of in, um, it looks like underneath a roof here, maybe in some kind of shelter. I have a bird who looks like it's coming down. It reminds me of my blue jays. Oops, 
maybe out of, let's see, we have the person in the shelter, we have the J, we have a bird who's coming down, um, like dive bombing. It reminds me of my blue jays when they're coming down for peanuts. Um, so I feel like there is some kind of message that's going to come through in it. And, and I feel like you're really trying to protect yourself from, it. I feel like you have it in, you're anticipating some kind of news. Um, it's, it's going to come fast. Okay. But I feel like you are, um, you know, building some kind of buffer there. You are getting ready for it. I feel like you will be prepared in some way as much as you can be. Um, and I, and then I see the Trinity. So I feel like there is balance and protection for you on a spiritual level. This is really important. It's right in the middle. If you can see right in the center. So that Trinity, um, you know, you are spirit is with you. Do not worry, right? Don't succumb to the anxiety of things. Um, just continue to do the work and make sure that, you know, you have things in place. Uh, you can't rely on the unknown to fix everything. You have to, you know, do your part of it. But um, I do think that, you know, the, uh, the, the divine is smiling upon you, shall we say. Okay, so now we have the... Um, <laughs> I'm having a heck of a time um, with this pronunciation, but it's the Ariand um, Happier Me Affirmation Cards. Okay, so we're using some different affirmation cards. Now, these ones are different than the other decks I've had, where there's one, on, there's a part on the front and the back. So I'll read both. And we're just going to flip through until it feels right. We'll stop here, and it says. The only approval I need is my own. Yeah. That looks like a, is that a fox or a coyote? Whatever it is, I love it. It's gorgeous. I love the artwork on this deck. And it says, worry about what, uh, worrying about what others think is only a distraction to living courageously. Nobody knows your needs better than yourself. Heck yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm about it. I always have to think about this <laughs> before I look at the comments. I just, some of them, whew, they get me. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We all, we all just need to be um, the, the, the approvers of our own path, right? end of the day so anyways jim and i thank you for uh joining me for this bonus reading uh i really do appreciate the time that i get to spend with you it is always such an honor if you would be so kind as to like the video it really does help the channel so much and if you haven't subscribed yet please think about doing that you can hit the little bell it'll let you know when the next videos are coming out it is free to subscribe and um if you want to leave a comment please do and i want to tell you um express to you it you know for all of the love support and messages we have received um, prayers, healing vibes, um, advice about, you know, different things to do and so on for Paul, who is my husband, Devin Serpentero, who's been sick. Um, you know, just the messages have been amazing. The comments, you all are the sweetest. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, Saturnalia right now. So happy Saturnalia. Um, this, I thought tomorrow was the solstice. It's not, it's, I, I mean, when this comes out, it'll be what <sighs> Tuesday. So, um, the solstice is on Thursday night and here anyways, it's going to be Thursday night. And, um, so coming up, if you'd like to tell me what you're doing for the solstice, please do. I'm always so interested in how people celebrate. We'll probably be home getting better, <laughs> convalescing, um, but we'll still have fun. So anyways, I thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And we will talk in just a few days. We will. Okay. Bye-bye.